哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒，我去！啊啊、hey guys, Wolfcorn here. Today is a very special video because we're gonna go flying with a very special guest, Mochi. This is the newest member of our family. We adopted her back in January, and today we're gonna go flying with her for the first time in the plane. And I have no idea how it's gonna go. It could be great. It could be a total fail. So we all know airplanes are loud, and I wasn't gonna go up in the plane with Mochi without giving her some hearing protection. So I talked to the guys at Four Paws Aviation, and they sent me these headsets to try out. And uh, they're made out of a durable, hard plastic uh, nylon on the outside. The inside has got this nice, uh, seems like a very high quality ear seal gel right here. And on the inside is uh, some FAA approved sound deadening uh, foam in, on the inside, which will apparently reduce the decibels by 45 decibels, uh, which apparently is 15 decibels more than the Mutt Muffs, which are another well-known brand of uh, dog headsets. So. We'll see how that goes. These are obviously not Bose A20 quality, but as long as they reduce the, the noise somewhat to help protect your hearing, that's what's important. And as far as the build quality goes, they're really well thought out. And what I like on these is they've got these nylon straps, which you kind of adjust the settings one time and then you don't have to adjust it after that. Um, and it's got this uh, breakaway plastic clip that you attach here under the chin. And what I like about this is it's, it doesn't have Velcro because I've learned that Velcro and dogs aren't a very good combination. A, because the noise scares the dogs a lot and also because their hair can get caught in the Velcro. I have heard that um, dogs typically act the same way they do in an airplane that they do in a car. And currently Mochi in the, in the car is a little iffy because uh, she gets nervous, she pants and she, she's thrown up a couple times. So. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen on this flight. It's important to have a plan for your dog's first flight. In our case, Carlo was going to sit in the back with Mochi while I concentrated on the flying up front. If at any point she told me it wasn't working out, I was going to scrub the flight. Certainly nervous at first, she seemed to be doing okay. Whiteman Ground, Grumman 244, Echo Open, it's the fuel pit with Foxtrot departing uh, New Hall. Grumman 244, Echo Romeo, Whiteman Ground, it's actually the 12V Alpha. 12V Alpha 4, Echo Romeo. Is she yeah, freaking out? Yeah. Well, like I said, we'll take off and start it's flying it's that way, and if it's a nightmare, we'll come right back. Okay, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. All right, so here we are. We're taxiing to the runway. We got Mochi in the back. She's obviously a little freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're but gonna she... come back if she if she starts barking. But we need to try. Yep. What if she likes it? I mean, I don't expect her to like it initially, but as long as she tolerates. It was time to do my airplane run-up, to check everything before taking off. This includes increasing engine power, which I thought could be potentially stressful for Mochi. Alright, I'm going to do a sex here. Sit. Sit. Good girl, good girl. Sit. Run-up brake set. Do a proper tank. Trim set for takeoff. Flaps up. Flight controls. Up on. Up on. Okay, I'm gonna rev up the engine so she might react.
Can you close so she doesn't listen to whenever you do that? Oh. That was awful. She, she got, um, I, I tell you later. But, but, uh, if we take off and there's a problem, just, just tell me and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No I'm worries. Just, I'm going to focus on flying, but just yeah, once yeah. you tell me, I'll just turn around yeah, and come yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So that obviously didn't go so well. Let's give it another shot. Alright, so uh, attempt number one, I think, I would call a fail. <laughs> um, I'm walking back to bring the car over to the hangar um, so we can load up and uh, head back home after that first attempt. Um, she obviously really didn't like the run up when I uh, brought up the RPM. She did a total freak out. Um, Carla got all scra scratched up on her stomach and uh, Mochi was just yelling and screaming and it was, oh, it was awful. So um, anyway, that was our first try. All right guys, so it's been a couple days since that flight and as you can see, it can be stressful for both the humans and the dogs. Um, the reason why we're doing that flight is because in about five weeks, we want to take the plane um, from California to Arkansas and back. And of course we want to take Mochi with us um, obviously, she's nowhere ready for that kind of trip right now, so I think the next step will be to go to the vet and talk about getting uh, anti-anxiety and uh, sedation medication. And also, I think uh, flying with her in the crate is probably the way to go. Um, if you guys have any uh, tips or suggestions with flying with dogs, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on Mochi's progress and uh, how her trips go. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.